In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the charging port on the Samsung S24 Ultra. I've got the phone on the hot plate. You can use a heat gun or a hairdryer to achieve the same thing. However, I find that the heat plate is the best option for this because it gets it really hot, allowing the back cover to be removed very easily. To remove the back cover, suction cup, old, reliable, broken suction cup, Attach it to the bottom third of the phone and then I'm going to add some isopropyl alcohol around at least three of the edges, definitely the bottom, and that's going to soak in in the very small gap that there is between the screen and the back cover. Then we're going to lift up with the suction cup and what we should see start happening is that this back cover is going to start separating. I'm going to move it down a little bit more because that back cover is going to start separating from the frame of the phone. Let me get a nice zoomed close up for you so you can see it happening in real time. I'm just lifting up and I'm being patient. I can see it moving slowly. The gap's getting a little bit bigger. What I don't want to do is like, if you use metal, there is a risk. So you could use a metal blade just to help it. And there is a risk that you could mark this, um, this frame of the phone. So instead, just wait impatiently until it's ready and then you can get the plastic pick in and insert it a couple of millimeters. And then even, I mean, that that pick is a little bit thick. So instead I'm gonna use some little bit of plastic cord just to help us along. And it's just a bit sharper, better at cutting through the adhesive that holds the back cover in place. So just going through, sort of chopping through the adhesive but I'm lifting up with the suction cup at the same time and it makes it pretty easy to get this back cover off. It's mainly about patience and just pulling on it gently until it starts to go. Because it is easy and I've done it many times where you just got a bit ahead of yourself, started taking it off too too soon before it's ready and then you end up breaking the glass. And this, block, this back cover is gonna if you want a genuine one, it's going to cost you 40 quid in it in part, which is crazy for a piece of glass, but you know, that's how life goes. So I'm just moving on to the other side now, working my way down. And the idea is that I, I go down the two long edges and the bottom edge, cut the adhesive sort of off, get it out of the way, and then we'll lift up the whole back cover a bit like this, look. And then what we're expecting it to do is sort of pivot on that bit and come away like that. And that's it. The first thing that I am going to do is grab a bit of low tack adhesive. And I'm just going to put it over the cameras and the logic board just to protect those cameras. I don't want to get mucky or dust on there. So we put them over there to protect it. And then whilst this back cover is still warm, I'm also going to remove all the adhesive that's left behind. So I'm just going to peel it off. And it's sort of left behind a bit of adhesive look. So you can just use your thumb to rub it off like that. Or if you have the luxury of a spinny tool, which is one of these guys, you can just use that to get that adhesive off. Super easy. It just makes things a lot easier to do it that way. So once you've been around that with the spindly tool or rubbing it off, then you can just get a bit of alcohol on a Q-tip or can bird and just make sure that it's all cleaned off. Really nice. Like that. Jobs are good in. And then you can put this back cover to one side, ready for later. Now I'm gonna carry on working on the hot plate just because my camera's all set up here. I'll probably turn it off so it cools down a little bit because we don't need it super hot. Um, but I am gonna just do the same as what I've just done on this frame whilst it's warm cleaning off all the adhesive. We'll get to the charging port in a minute, don't worry guys. But if you've watched any of my repair videos before, there's a consistent theme and that's making sure that the edges and wherever any adhesive goes is really clean so that the new adhesive sticks really well. And with consistency being key, that attention to detail is important. Just doing the same, making sure that this is clean, running around the edges and that's it. Now, this phone is powered off. It's run out of battery because it's not charging. 
you've got an option here. You can disconnect the battery and then remove the charging port that way. However, in the grand scheme of things, you can just remove this speaker assembly and remove the charging port, swap it out, and it's not gonna do any damage. A lot of people say, oh, why didn't you disconnect the battery first? But the truth is, it's not gonna make any difference whether I do or I don't. So to do it, pop out the SIM tray, make sure that's out of the way first. Then we've got two, four, six crosshead screws holding down this loudspeaker and plastic cover. I'm gonna use the little supersonic electronic screwdriver to remove all six of those. If you like that screwdriver, link is in the description below. We do get a little kickback off if you buy stuff like that. And I really appreciate everybody who supports the channel in that way. So thank you very much. And then what you're going to notice is little arrows. So there's one there, look. That's a prying point. That's somewhere it's safe to get under, lift up so that we can remove it. So we're going to lift it up like that and then just move it out the way. Lift it up. I just peeled that little bit back a little bit and then you can just fold that, move it out of the way, forget about it, forget about it. You can see what we've got here. We've got one cable there, remove, one cable there, remove, and then we've got three more crosshead screws. Un, de, trois. Three little screws, easy peasy. Just make sure you keep these separate from the other screws that you took out because I believe that they are different sizes. Then we're gonna use the plastic spudger to get underneath the charging port and it's just gonna come out very easily like that. So to replace the charging port, that one is done for. It was the victim of some liquid damage. We tried to clean it up. However, we had no success. So we ordered a replacement. These are genuine parts and they they just work, buy the genuine parts. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below from where you can buy it. Sometimes they are trade only places, so I do apologize if you are not trade. I'll also leave an AliExpress link for another suitable product. However, I cannot verify its authenticity. So, drop it in place. A little bit of plastic film what was stuck to my finger and dropped on there. And then pop those three screws back in. Once those three are in, that screwdriver is proper sticky. Once they're in, attach the antenna cable and then the sub to main cable, and then make sure we've not got any bits of adhesive falling in anywhere. What I always do, right, I've done this before and I've caused damage before, that's magnetic. Make sure there's no screws stuck to that before you pop it down. Push down, and then we've got six crosshead screws. I don't think you can get a much easier job than uh, like Samsung charging ports. These are real easy, very straightforward, a few screws and a part and it's, I mean this phone's dead, it's coming dead and it's going to go out charging and working. It's always very satisfying isn't it? Let's remove the bit of plastic film that I put over to protect those cameras. Let me tell you now. A genuine seal is always a good idea. They come looking a little something like that. You're gonna line it up in that top left corner. Then I'm gonna line up this long edge down the bottom here. And then the rest of it should follow on like that. I prefer the Samsung ones to the iPhone ones. They just seem to stick a little bit better and easier. And they've got little guides on where to secure it down. Anyway. Use the flat edge of the plastic spudger just to make sure that it's sat flat and sat good all the way around. And then we've just got to find a suitable place to peel it off, like that. Peel it back. And then just dust blow a little dust bulb blowy thing. Give it a clean out. Do the same on these camera lenses. I'm gonna do it in another place. Actually, I'll do it there, just because you'd not believe me that I've done it if I don't show it on camera. Clean that. I just didn't want the dust blowing out of there and into the cameras. Stick it down. Have a good rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Make sure that it's all pushed down all the way around it. And that's it. Job's good, job's done. 
So what this one was doing before was going burp, 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 giving it that one every time you tried to plug it in on charge, but now it should charge. Don't forget to put your SIM card in. It weren't dead, it was just turned off, look. Ho, 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 95% charged. But it's charging now, it's turning on, it's good. Everything is hunky-dory. The job is complete. We'll just clean up the screen a bit. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.